Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be talking about the new triple threat online reward galaxy opal ron harper now initially when ron harper did come out did get released i thought maybe that julius Randle would still be on boards i think later this season we'll see both of them on this triple threat online board but at this current moment right julius Randle is off board so if you were kind of grinding for julius Randle, there is no way to get julius Randle right now you guys can see it's ron harper diamond consumables and then radioactive those are the top three rewards at the highest tier in triple threat online so in this video today we are going to be talking about obviously ron harper breaking down how good ron harper is if he fits your squad and what type of person should grind for ron harper because i'll be the first to tell you there are some people in this game that should grind for ron harper but that's got to fit your specific needs and in your specific kind of place now how good you are at this game so we're going to be breaking down all of that in this video today i was hoping julius rando and ron harper would both be on board so i could just go crazy and tell you guys that triple threat online is the mode to grind but even without that guys ron harper is still very very solid we're going to be breaking down his stats badges next but before we do that if you are new to my channel and have not yet please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 60,000 subscribers Looking at Ron Harper's card here, the first thing that I want to say is that I've used Ron, Ron Harper and I, me specifically, go way back. Back when I used to play in online my leagues, he used to be my backup point guard in every single league. I made sure to get Ron Harper because I absolutely love the card. Now I get it, my team isn't my league, but at the same thing, at the same time, I know exactly what Ron Harper is going to give me. In my league, he gave me one of the best defensive players, point guards in the game. And in this is going to be no different. The dude is 6'6 with a 6'9 wingspan and can play point guard. We don't, I, I get it, we've got a lot of tall point guards, but we don't have a lot of guys that are like that that can really move and groove. So if Ron Harper can move at the point guard position, then we're really going to see something here, okay? He's got hot spots from everywhere above the break, which I get it, he doesn't have him from the corners, but I'd rather have those hot spots on my point guard than high spots like just in the quarters and top of the key. Like the hash are very, very important, at least at the point guard position. He has 35 Hall of Fame badges with 12 of them being on gold. Now, the big thing for Ron Harper is he's only got an 88 three ball. If you have D'Antoni or even Vogelis up into the low 90s already, you can get a cheap three point shoot, plug that on Ron Harper as well. And you can really make Ron Harper pretty solid uh, shooting wise for pretty cheap overall. 90 driving dunk, 96 people ball, 90 ball handle, 96 speed acceleration, as well as a 98 lateral quickness. That's absolutely incredible. I don't know how many cards we have that have a 98 or above lateral quickness. I would love to see it. I think Kawhi has a 98 lateral quickness. I know MJ does, but I do not think there's that many cards yet in 2K with that 98 lateral quickness or a 98 steal rating, 88 block rating. Like I haven't even talked about the, the hidden stats, right? 85 interior. Like These are the hidden stats that are going to make Ron Harper that much better of a defensive player. 89 strength at the point guard position. Just absolutely incredible defensive stats all the way around. Now, finishing wise, here's where here's where things really get interesting. He's got Hall of Fame Showtime. Obviously, does come with Showtime dunks. So you guys know, for me at the point guard position, I love me some Hall of Fame Showtime. Shooting wise, Hall of Fame catch and shoot hot start and hot zone hunter that's a pretty big badge with gold flexible corner green machine and range extender so obviously if you get ron harper you're gonna want to put dead eye on him i'd probably put slippery off ball but after that he doesn't need that much maybe, maybe tyler shooter and volume shooter but he comes with the most important shooting badges now you look at it finishing wise play or shooting wise it's just okay right between the two categories he has what 12 out of his 35 hall of fame badges so in playmaking and defense he's got 23 hall of fame badges left those include ankle breaker dimer downhill floor general handles for days needle third pass fake maestro quick first step space created tight handles and unpluckable so you look at the playmaking badge is pretty incredible obviously if you use ron harper you're probably going to want to put bail out on him especially with the release that he was given but overall very incredible playmaking badges like the hall of fame ankle breaker is a badge that often gets overlooked but for my specific play style a very very important badge and then defensively this is where things get very very exciting if you do end up using ron harper hall of fame clams hard crusher 
Interceptor, Intimidator, off ball Pest, Pick Dodger, Pickpocket, Pogo Stick, Tiles, Defender, and Trapper. He's got all of those badges on Hall of Fame, Gold, Chase Down, and Rebound Chaser. Again, if you do end up using Ron Harper, you're going to probably want to put Rim Protector, possibly Post Move Lockdown on him. He is a Galaxy Opal, so I think, I, I don't know exactly how many badge spots. I think he gets six badge spots, I want to say. So you, 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 might, uh, you might not be able to give him everything you want, but at the end of the day, you should be able to make Ron Harper pretty complete. So stat-wise, badge-wise, you know what Ron Harper is going to be giving you. He is a very, very solid all-around point guard. 95 driving dunk tendency, incredible defensive tendencies across the board. Sigs-wise, jump shot 18 on very quick. Now, jump shot 18, you would initially look at it, okay, it's Mono Ginobili's release. We know, not a very good release. But that release on very quick, it's not the worst, okay? It's, I, trust me, it's not the smoothest release, but it is not the worst release in the game. With Gary Trent Jr., it's a decent enough release to get off. Again, I, I, I wouldn't recommend, you know, if you have a my player putting jump shot 18 on him or anything, but it's not an unusable release on very quick. I just kind of want to get that out there for you guys. Is it the best release to go around screens with and, and try to get peak, uh, peaks off with? Probably not. But with Gary Trent Jr., I still got a lot of threes up with him and made some things work. Now, the Pro 2 size of escape is, a, is, a, is a, obviously the Curry escape, which is something that is, is incredible. Pro 2 moving crossover, Pro 4 moving behind the back. I don't know why they keep giving people Pro 4 moving behind the back. That's a terrible moving behind the back. Again, I, I, I hope 2K just goes away from that as a whole and that that is no longer a part of the game because we're getting to the stage of the game. We're in the middle of April. The pro form moving on the back is almost unusable, so hopefully they end up getting rid of that. But pretty good dribble sigs all the way around for Ron Harper. Again, offensively, I, I don't want to say he's limited because he's not. He's got good speed with ball. You know, he can move and groove. Hall of Fame, Showtime, good enough shooting badges. But defensively, that's where you're going to notice Ron Harper. So let's say you're running Dan Tony, and let's say you give him a, a three-point shoot. It doesn't matter what else it is, okay? He's going to have a 95 three ball. He's going to have a 93 driving dunk, 94 ball handle, 99 speed, 98 lateral quickness, 99 steal. Like, what more could you want out of your point guard? Outside of his release, guys, he is so, so elite. So ultimately, guys, the question is, is Ron Harper worth grinding for for your specific squad? And here's the answer to that question. If you're running a squad, let's say your point guards are guys, let's say your point guards are like Bob, Sura, and guys like that, or even if you're running like Amethyst, Smush Parker at this point, then yes, 100% he is worth grinding for over a guy like Smush Parker. If your point guards are like Tyrese Halburn and Chris Webber, I would say he's not as important to grind for. Now, if it lets, I'll probably play a little triple threat online. And if I do indeed getting Ron Harper, don't think he's not going to replace one of these guys. Like Ron Harper is super, super good. He's not as good as Chris Webber. But I could put him in here and then sell Chris Webber. Or even, you know, if you compare him to Clyde Drexler, you could make the case that he's better than Clyde Drexler and you could play him at the two left. I don't think for most people he's worth grinding for, especially how hard it is for most people to get to that upper board. But at the end of the day, guys, I think that Ron Harper can fit some people's specific play styles, some people's specific squads. Now, for me specifically, the thing that stands out is the Hall of Fame Showtime and Incredible on Defense. That fits my play style to AT. So that's why I'll probably grind a little triple threat online in hopes for Ron Harper. But that is going to wrap it up for the video on the new triple threat online reward, Ron Harper. I kind of wish Julius Randle was still on board. So, you know, I wish that was the case. But right now, it's not appearing like that is. Now, I know there's been something going on with Triple Threat Online this morning, in which people have been getting the three 300 tokens on their board and actually getting 300 tokens for winning the game. So, I don't know why that that's, uh, that's occurring right now, but I bet by the time this video is released that it's patched or fixed. But yeah, people have been seeing 300 tokens on board, so that's kind of an intriguing thing if you are grinding Triple Threat Online. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, guys. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new, and as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.